20 seconds left. Can we hold on for the rest of this battle? He's got a P.E.K.K.A. Executioner, Nightwitch coming towards us. And chewing on some hot boy. Like I told this, I see when I... Hey, what is up, guys? And welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, we're going to do something absolutely crazy and play with this Spellcaster deck. Shout out to Leo. It was his idea. He asked me if I can do this. And as you can see, we have four troops, Wizard, Ice Wizard, E-Wiz, and Witch. And we have what they spawn with as spells as the Fireball, Freeze, Zap, and Graveyard. So what we're going to do is take this deck and hop into some Grand Challenge matches and see what we can do with the Spellcaster. So I guess technically we have 12 cards in our deck almost, you could say, since we have all of these spells and all of these spell casters. So opening up in this first battle, we have the Ice Wiz and the Freeze as well as the Witch and the Fireball. So let's see what our boy Tony does in this battle. We're just gonna go ahead and start out with a slow Ice Wizard. So what I'm seeing with this deck is the goal is gonna be obviously to win with the Graveyard. At least we have a win condition. So maybe the Ice Wizard I would say is the most tanky Spellcaster out of the four. So if we can get him in front and get a Graveyard on top of that, then that would be business for us. This guy's gonna still go ahead and start with a Bandit. So we're gonna zap it with the Ewiz and let the Ewiz go on and get some damage onto that tower, hopefully. He has a minion horde. I did not need a fireball there. Waste of four elixir, my bad. That could have been a great counter push time with the graveyard. Bad play on my part. I underestimated the witch's splashing ability. I'm not gonna send this graveyard there now that he has the wizard. So we're just gonna sit back, wait, and let this one play out. All right, does he support that wizard? If he's not gonna support that wizard, I will take the wizard damage and set up for a graveyard counter push. So let's see here, nothing's coming our way. We've got the graveyard, we also have the freeze and that's gonna be disgusting here. So since the ice wizard is more tanky, we're going for it, we're just gonna go for it. Ice wizard down, graveyard down. What is gonna be his response here? He actually has a mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so that's fine. I'm not gonna freeze just yet. I don't want him to know we have that, but look at all those skeletons, they will fall to a zap unfortunately but look at that tower's health it is down to 745 the spellcaster deck is absolutely insane it just has so many strong cards and everything is just sitting back and letting things play out i'm gonna go ahead and fireball here on the tower and on the wizard so we can get some damage and force out another play from tony here what is he gonna respond with he's going to have to respond he's not responding he's just gonna take that witch damage the thing with the witch though she has skeletons and that tower is going to fall unbelievable first tower push we already have his first tower with a minute left to go on the map. Let's start pushing the left side. At, oh my goodness, a Sparky. I haven't seen Sparky in a year. Sparky's coming towards us. Not too worried about it. I've got my Ewiz and Graveyard on the left side. Unfortunately, I don't have my Ewiz for Sparky. But it's okay. We have the spell that he casts. We have Zap. So we're going to go ahead and Zap. Reset that Sparky. And uh, okay, so he has all this coming at us. Freeze going down as, long as, the, as well as the Ice Wizard and Regular Wizard. And they're just slowing down that entire push. He does have that Sparky. Will the Sparky be able to fire? It does not look like it. Sparky is slowed down. Meanwhile, we've actually taken a considerable amount of damage here on the left side. And he's going to start sending in his Sparky once again. So at this point in time, I'm not going for that second crowd. We do run a Graveyard deck. Graveyard is a 1-0 type deck. So I'm not going to worry about going for a second crown. He has this disgusting push coming here on the right side. Wizard should be able to handle all that just in case I'm going to freeze it. As the time is ticking down, two seconds left on the clock, and that will be 1-0 on the day. This Spellcaster deck is really, really fun, so try this deck out. We will continue on and see if we can rack up some wins with him and see who we can surprise. I don't think anybody's going to notice that we are running a Spellcaster-type deck, but we'll see. We'll see. I did not get a chance to use the Graveyard Freeze combination in that game because we didn't need it, but in this game... It depends. Let's see if we can get a Graveyard Freeze down onto his tower. Up against Jay from Check This. Oh, that's actually a, <laughs> that's actually a really creative name. I like that. All right. So e -Wiz, or I mean Ice Wiz going down here on the left side. I keep mixing up the Wizard's name as we have three of them on the list. And I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew we were going to see a Night Witch in this challenge. Obviously, everyone's running Night Witch. She's so overpowered. But the OG Witch is going down. The OG Witch is going to stop the Night Witch with the help of a little, with a little bit of help from the wizard. Wizard going down. Wizard all over that night witch and all over the baby dragon. He's actually really, really good against the night witch. Night witch does not stand a chance one on one with the wizard. Since we do have a mini count. Nah, nah, let's let it die. He actually didn't block the wizard. Okay, so maybe I should have used the graveyard there. 
I was thinking about it, but now we're going to go for it. We've got the Ice Wiz and the spell that he casts along with the Graveyard onto that tower. E Wiz going down to stop all of this. He's going to drop a Night Witch, but look at that tower. Look, oh, he has the Zap. Okay, so really good Zap from him. Either way, he still took a load of damage. His tower is already down to 398. Now we just have to deal with the Night Witch. Night Witch alone doesn't scare me as long as I have a, a long range troop going after her. Even the Ice Wiz, as you see here, will stop her entirely and even take care of the bats with the help of the Crown Towers. So now we're looking pretty good. One and a half minutes left in this battle. Let's see what we can do here. He's going to start with another Tombstone in the center. My Witch is going down in the back right, walking her way slowly but surely up to his right tower. Alrighty. He actually has a Lava Hound deck. Once again, mm, not really too worried about it. We've got the spell caster, so they're just going to sit back and absolutely unload on that Lava Hound. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and drop our graveyard onto that tower just to see what kind of damage we can get. He does have his gang, but Zap is going down. That wizard is going to shred the Lava Hound. The wizard is so good up against the Lava Hound. And that tower has so many skeletons on it. Tower is all the way down to 166 HP. Okay. So we are looking good. E was going down to go on top of those uh, lava pups. He has his miner and all these things got down on our tower. So now I'm going to freeze and take care of business. 1318 on that tower. He is sending in another lava hound. But as I said, we have the wizards on deck. Wizard after wizard after wizard is going to shut down these lava hounds. He does have bats and a poison. So I think our wizard is going to die here. 30 seconds left on the clock. I can't really get a push going because he just keeps bringing all this at us. So I'm going to just fireball his tower as well as the king tower for added damage and take that out. And now we are up 1-0. That tower will fall sooner or later. So we're going to focus on defense here on the left side and freeze all of his troops and take care of business. That right tower is gone. I'm not even going to try and defend it anymore at this point. We only need two more fireballs onto his tower and we will secure the victory. But let's sneak a wizard in here in the center. Can the wizard take down the tower without getting attacked? One blow and two and we take that tower and that's going to be a 2-1 victory here up against our friend Jay from check this how about you check this deck out my man and we are up 2-0 on the day moving in to our third battle wow this deck is actually pretty solid and I'm surprised it's holding up really well against all these other decks I did underestimate these cards and uh, they're proven to be really strong so I'm going to try bringing the Night Witch back into it <laughs> look at our opening hand forget what I was saying we have all four spells in the opening hand terrible hand hopefully our friend here plays something first up against Muhammad Allah from the dark side too. Alright, he did play his miner, so I'm just going to go ahead and zap. Leave his poison alone. I don't want to give him any value at all whatsoever. So we're just going to chill here and bring out the OG Witch starting on the back right side and see how he decides to respond. He should be very low in Elixir, although he did get a decent amount of damage there on the left side. And, uh, okay, so he has an Executioner. Lovely. That's what not what I want to see, but that's alright. We've got our graveyard going down. And we haven't tried this all day, so let's go ahead and freeze the bats as well as the Night Witch and see what kind of damage we can do to this tower. And he plays his Goblin Gang. Unfortunately, we did not have the Zap spell in rotation. So now we have a counter push and a half coming back towards this Wizard going down in the center. And we're going to have to Zap all this as well. Take down the bats, take down the uh, Executioner sooner or later. Executioner will fall, but not after doing astounding damage to our tower. We even have a almost dead Night Witch onto our tower. She's going to spawn four more bats. I'm not going to waste any Elixir defending against that. Instead... Let's go ahead and reset, recharge, and get ready to take that tower. All right, we're sitting at 7 Elixir. Hmm, that Night Witch execution of Tornado is going to be a pretty tough challenge for us. But not to worry, Ice Wizard to the rescue here in the right side. 1275 and 1910 left on our crown towers. He has a P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so we're just going to go for it. We're going heavy. Go big or go home, as they always say. P.E.K.K.A. will be not that difficult to deal with. We do have the Witch. But it will become very difficult if we let him build up a P.E.K.K.A. push. He's going to stop our graveyard over there pretty solidly with the Goblin King. But not after receiving over 800 damage. So now I'm going to drop the Witch. She does really, really well against the P.E.K.K.A. He's going to take forever to get to her if the Night Witch was not behind it. So now we have a hefty, hefty push. But the Night Witch P.E.K.K.A. is not really a great push because nothing is splashing. And the Night Witch is a close range troop. So we just have to make sure we take care of these bats. Zap everything. Bats are actually going down to the Ice Wizard. So we won't even need to zap. And uh, we're pushing back towards his tower. Now counter push will actually die here to that poison. Ice Wiz does manage to survive, but that's not much of a push. So that's going to end up dying. And uh, he's going to start a P.E.K.K.A. again on the right side. On the left side, we're not going to have it. So we're going for the right side push with the E-Wiz. And again, we're going to have our Zap prepared this time for the graveyard. And we're going to freeze his E-Wiz. Oh man, not in time though. We would have been able to take his E-Wiz out. But that's okay. We have 18 million skeletons onto his tower. And that's going to be 1-0. 
20 seconds left. Can we hold on for the rest of this battle? He's got a P.E.K.K.A. Executioner Nightwitch coming towards us. Uh, 15 seconds left. Can we hold on? We just need to hold on a little bit longer. We have all this coming towards our tower. If we can hold on, we cannot. Unfortunately for us, that right tower is already down to 100. So that's going to be good game and well played on our man's part here. This deck is actually surprisingly really solid for us. And uh, I don't know what I did wrong there. I don't know how I could have played that any better. If you guys have any suggestions, leave that down in the comment section below. But uh, overall, we had a lot of fun, and this is a solid, solid deck. So thanks again, Leo, for the suggestion. It was a very good one. Here's the deck for you guys one more time. With the Wizard and his Fireball, Ice Wizard and his Freeze, Electro Wizard and his Zap, and the Witch and her Graveyard. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop that like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that as well. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!